How's it going, everyone? I'm the Swimming Tape, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <whistles> Alright. So. Yeah. If that sounded weird, sorry. I literally took a drink before starting. Gurgle, gurgle. Anyway. All I got left is what? I think bounties are 100% done. Maybe. Do you have anything left? Ah! There we go. There's a man in front of the fountain in Ding Dong Dell who appears to have something on his mind. Derwin. What? What? I swear, if this guy makes me go look for more of those things, I'm gonna go nuts. So, he's in front of the fountain, which means he's next to the palace? Is that the fountain we're talking about here? I hope so. Hello? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, hi, Derwin. Really, dude? More? Well, this certainly isn't ideal. Not at all. Hey, Derwin. I don't think I've seen you like this before. Is something the matter? Oh, Oliver. It's you. I suppose that was a statistical certainty that our paths would eventually cross again. Since you ask, I'm in what you call might call a bit of a pickle. What does it want? Tell your old friend, trippy lord, high lord of the fairies. Very well. You see, the creatures upon which my studies currently focus are of an extremely ferocious disposition. Keepers? I bet that makes them difficult to catch, huh? <laughs> I think you'll find it makes them entirely impossible to catch. As a result, let me study once they have been... S uh, okay, so you want me to kill them. Actually, this I'm fine with. Of course, a researcher of my standing is in no position to risk his extremely valuable neck tackling such beasts. Say no more, man. You get the picture. What do you say, early boy? You want to beat up some more beasties? Sure. Sure, Derwin. We'll help you. Excellent! You offered just as I predicted you would. Eh? Uh, so you planned this whole thing, is it? Is it? Sure you did. You always do, huh, Derwin? Boy, you sure are smart. Well, I am the foremost mind of a generation. Your help is very much appreciated, of course. I need you to defeat three creatures altogether. First, okay, Grubby Fog. Which is a Jack Frost playground. Uh, okay. Alright. Where's. There. I'm blind. I was looking for Yule, it was right in front of me. Shut up! Where is Jack Frost Playground specifically? Is it this one here? No. No. This? I keep forgetting where it is. I don't know why. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, where is it? Crikey! Is that the scrubby fuck that went, was going on about? Looks a bit boom and feisty to me. But we can't run away, Mr. Drippy. We promised Erwin. There we go! Time to kick its butt. <laughs> Um. We 
I will kick this thing's butt. I don't know why I went to the trouble of getting frickin' Question, I did equip the most powerful of all of them, right? Yeah, this, this guy ain't got nothing on me. Hey! Actually, you know what? That's that's good. Never mind. Really? Again, this is this is for badge really, really, really easy. Yes, we did. There should not be a surprise. Everyone's running out of out of space to level up. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Derwin. Were you watching? Wonderful. Such ferocious fighting. I never dreamed I could observe it firsthand. Oi! What are, what are you doing by it? How long have you been watching for? I think you'll find I've been here since the very beginning. I correctly surmised that monitoring your methodology would be advantageous for my studies. Now my next research subject is the Auric Column which resides atop the genie steps to the southeast of the Shimmering Sands. An Arctic column? That sounds kind of special. Indeed. This is such to be believed. The body of this mysterious creature glows with a majestic golden hue. Also, I must return to Ding Dong Dale to put the data I just collected in order. Do you have any questions? I think you'll find me there. All right. Okay, Genie's steps southeast of the Shimmering Sands. If I remember correctly, it's those cliffs. I think. Where am I? Northwest of where I need to be. That's where I am. Hello? Very northwest of where I need to be. Hello, volcano. Like these things here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, no. It'd be. If anywhere, it would be on this side. I knew it. I knew it. It's an auric column. What the heck? It's got arms like tree trunks. Come on, Mr. Drippy. We can beat it. I just know we can. All right. Well, let's kick its butt. <laughs> wow. I don't like the sounds these monsters make. Nickus. Because nothing. Okay. We're under attack. All right, though. We're the ones attacking it. How much damage is this going to do? Actually, that did a lot, but at the same time, barely did anything. Ow! I miss the sword that heals me while I'm attacking. You know what? Ow. At least you can see a difference when you do this. When you use Astra. At least you could see a difference. Now die! Really? You're not dead? Really? Ow. 
Okay, now it's dead. Who doesn't like this time? There's something wrong here. Yeah, it's dead. Yay! <laughs> what next time? Well, there are a couple more next times, but uh, Derwin! Really? Excellent. He has more data for me to pour over. And another fine example of nature's formidable power. Why, I was so taken by the grace on this display that I very nearly neglected to take the necessary notes. I just, of course, there was never any danger of that. Now then, the last creature I require you to hunt is the showman. And I think you'll find it on the island of No Longer Mine, to the south of Atomia. Its sharp spike and highly durable shell make it one of the deadliest creatures known to science. Alas! I must return to Ding Dong Dell to put the data I've just collected in order. Okay. Should you have any questions, you can find me there. One of the deadliest creatures known to science? Is this really just a great idea? Is this really such a great idea? Oh, come on, Mom. You can't let go letting a lethal spike and a bit of impenetrable armor put you off. Besides, you'll have yours truly to help you, ain't it? You do nothing! Now, it was the island of no longer mine. To the south of Autumnia, was it? Chop chop, then let's get moving. Jeez. I I feel offense, but at the same oops. I meant to push this button. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna go to Hamlin. Go take a nap! And then fight the thing afterwards. Because at least I'll be healed all the way. I'll be healed and I have all MP. Which would be very beneficial to me. Well, hello there. Hiya! I'm not even, at this point, I'm not even bothering to read what they say. It's always the same thing now. <sighs> Yay, I'm done. I did not mean to do that. Alright. Moving on. Wait, it did refill my everything, right? Yes, it did. Gah! Okay, so I want to... First of all... I... This is not... This, this, this particular thing is on Tomnia, so it's... This one, I think? Actually, I think that's right. I think it is on this one. Yep. Alright, where is it? Ah, there it is. You want me to fight a turtle? Here it comes, Mon- Uh, 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 sh sh it. You've come this far, Mr. Jibby. You can't give up now. Time to kick its butt. <laughs> Let's do this. Alright. <laughs> Why did I do that? I meant to do this. I've noticed now, like, did Astra. Astra all the way at this point. I mean, it does more damage than anything else I got. I 
I mean, for heaven's sake, that took a third of its damn. That took a third of its health in one hit. Maybe a fourth. I don't know. This thing is not as strong as he said it was. I was expecting something much, much worse. Okay, it takes about about a fourth. Which means this is gonna kill you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, Derwin. Impressive work. I knew I had made the right choice in entrusting this research to you. Gee, thanks. So you got your uh, data? I certainly did. Thank you, young man. The data you have helped me to collect is about to revolutionize the natural... Nat natural? I know how to say words. The natural sciences. Well... That sounds just swell, I guess. Good luck with all your research, Derwin. I shan't be requiring luck. Oh, here's a little something for your trouble. I think you'll find it adequate. Recomp oh my gosh. You'll find it adequate recompense. A lumberwood ticket, a, rel a relics ticket. A what are these? Now, I must get back to Ding Dong Dell and start processing this data. He's gone already. Or at least shooting off somewhere. That is, that one. I tell you, these creature researching types are a hell of a. I can't process that word ever. Every time I see it, I can't process it. Ah, hell of a part. Peculiar. Yeah. What, what do these even do? A familiar ticket that can be exchanged for a golden mite. For a golden drongo? For a flutterby? For a grifty? A draggle? And a golden hurley? Anyway, oops, wrong button. Let's go back to Ding Dong Dell and see what that even does for me. If I were to take a guess, my eye is itching again for some stupid reason. But if I were to take a guess, this thing. Hi. Hello, 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 young Oliver. You defeated Shadar, didn't you? Good for you. You left the door ajar when you went into his throne room. So I had a little peek from the corridor. What a battle! Why, I nearly died of excitement. Have I not seen you since before that? I prepared a little gift for... Okay. Thanks. Yes, I mean, no, I mean, so I can give the extra stuff, sure, but she's not defeated. What a spectacular spectacle. That's not going to be necessary, but thank you, I guess. How do I... Okay, that's not it. Um. And no, I haven't defeated the White Witch. She's still up there. Hi. Did that trigger anything? How am 
probably gonna... Um... I, I, I feel like the more I do these, the more those pop up. Alright, well, I guess it's time to go over to Castaway Cove. I want to do the one with the boy first. You found a treasure map, eh? Alright, let's see said treasure map. Hey, kid. You saw treasure? I want treasure. Are you again? You have decided to join my crew, perhaps? Uh, not just yet. No? How unfortunate. Especially so, considering my latest find. Eh? Eh? What's that? It's not treasure, is it? Arr, It is better than treasure. It is a genie treasure. A genuine treasure map. I happen to come across it while rearranging the governor's star room. How did you get a deep voice suddenly? When I showed it to him, he apparently certain certain that it was that it were once the property of the legendary castaway Causaz. Wow, Are you sure it's real? Most assuredly. And look, seven places have been. Oh, There must be places of hidden treasure. Yeah, totally. We like treasure map. Arr, I would sure ye would be interested. A suitable find for the future pirate king of justice, I think. Alas, mother won't, will not let me go and look for these treasures. It is dangerous she could. I mean, it is. Of course it is, man. There's flipping loads of monsters out there. There's no way a midget like you would last five minutes. Boss the uh, Lord High Lord of the Fairies, I'd be fine, like. Really? You will investigate the locations marked on this map for me. Well, please do so. Alright, alright. Arr, arr. I feel you would agree. No, I am sure you will be. Okay. It is torn in several places, therefore, the exact location of the treasures are not quite visible. Seven locations have been marked. It can be assumed that there are seven separate treasures. Oh, jeez. Looks like it, man. Suppose we'll just have to search for them, ain't it? Well, Legendary, Legend of the Castaway Corsairs is very famous, I think. Everyone in this town knows about it. Most certainly. Perhaps you should ask the locals if they have advice about where to commence your search. That sounds like a great idea. Gee, isn't this exciting, Mr. Drippy? You. Would you be able to tell us anything about Coast? No. It is the treasure they found that you wish to hear about, perhaps? The shipwreck shore. Okay. I'm not even bothering to read these. I just want the location. I'm sorry. I'm ignoring you people. Okay. Shipwreck shore first, then I'll come back and talk with the others. That are not the boy. Boo. Tangri's a lot faster than that boat I had. Did I have to talk all, to all of them first? Yeah. Fine. 
mean? Wait. Everyone's gonna run from me now. Okay, quite frankly, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> this is going to become very, very tedious. And that's just being nice. Fine. I'm going to talk to everyone. I put in air quotes because I'm just going to be a dick and scan through everything just to see if I can... I, okay, the island of not mine. I know what it's talking about. It's that island we were at earlier. So... Billy Goat's Bluff, okay. Okay, there is one over there. Just wanted to make sure before I actually went down there. Hi. Swan Island or Ugly Duckling Island? That's helpful. Might as well. Ugh. Why do I have to talk to people? I just want to kill things. Kill pieces and all. I talk to you. It'll probably trigger once all of them in their locations once I've actually. Hi! Oh, hi! But the bar. something. Somewhere coastal. Wow. That was so helpful. Tiny and intensely cold island. So, not Jack Frost Playground, but the other one. Bungler's Bay. Is that all? It looks like I've asked everyone. Yeah, I talked to everyone. All right, kid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I talked to all of them. So. This is becoming extremely tedious. Um, hello? Ask lo local people about the Cassidy Corsair. Am I missing someone? You? Um... Maybe I have to re-talk to the old lady since I left. I... I'm confused. This particular side quest is confusing the hell out of me. This side quest might be why I stopped doing side quests the original time, the, most of the times I played this. 
Okay. And no one over there. Okay, the game tells me that I haven't done everyone down here. It's losing its freaking mind. I talked to the old lady. I talked to these two. Okay, everyone on that side has been talked to. No. That guy's useless. I mean, I'm already... Ugh. So now what? What do I do now? Kid! Hey! You know what? I'm looking this up. Okay, I'm not talking to people. I'm just going. I'm going for it. I have it in front of me. I'm just going to go for it. So, first off, Shipwreck Shores. Northeast of the Vault of Tears. On a cliff, apparently. So, fly northeast of the Vault of Tears to the dead end on a high point. Here. Wait a minute. These? What's the stone over by it uh, then? We're kind of riding on it too. And what does it say? Scavenging on the shipwreck shores. The tides have washed all sorts of things onto the shipwreck shore beach. Just as we landed, in fact, we saw that a wrecked pirate ship had been lifted onto the sand. On closer inspection, it turned out to have been full of the gunwales with treasure. These are the days about which every pirate dreams. Castaway Corsair. This must be one of the places marked on the treasure map, huh? I did not. Ah, oh, crap. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No! Oh, my freaking. What does that say? Um. Three B. Okay. All right, time to go to Burglar's Bay. Okay. I mean, I, 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 Bungler's Bay. Directly south of Old Smoky. I never understood the the uh, geography of this, so I'm just like, yeah, whatever. The geology? My brain doesn't want to figure out words right now. South of Old Smoky. Right there. I thought I was looking for an item. No, I'm looking for these things. What's the stone by over by here? Some kind of writing on it, too. Now, what does that say? No 
sooner had we uncovered a buried treasure chest than the captain lost his balance on deck and fell into the sea, taking the chest and its contents with him. We managed to haul the captain aboard uninjured, but the chest sank to the bottom of the sea. I think he is the only... He is the one always telling us to watch our steps. <laughs> That's my Corsair. That says 73. Alright. Yeah, the guide's telling me that. Shut up. It looks like it's cranky. I thought the captain was a gun of them. Alright, next up. The Barrens. South of Skull Mountain, west of the northern entrance of Golden Grove. Wait. What? Actually, I think I get it. No, I get it. I, I think I, I think I see. I know. So the stones are what we're looking for. I think I know what it's wanting me to pick up. It's gonna be on this section here, I believe. Somewhere. Ah! Right there. You're a troublesome punk, kid. You know that? What's this stone over by uh, that? Some kind of writing on it, too. Now, what does this say? Treasure in the Barrens. Finding this treasure was no mere, no mean feat. I assure you, no matter where we looked or where we dug, we could find no trace of the blasted thing. After we had reduced the entire coastline to an unsightly collection of holes and hill hillocks, did we find? Did we finally find a little chest? I can't speak. With a single gold coin inside it, to say that the captain was furious would be an understatement. Yeah, okay. Sounds about right. Gold coin, eh? I'd flip and be gutted. I'd be flip I'd be flipping gutted. Alright, next up. Tiny Tim Island. S south of Yule, I believe. Southwest. My bad! You know what? I'm gonna make this easier on myself. This island? Yep, I see it. Alright. Tiny Tim's treasure. We managed to get our mitts on the treasure, but we suffered for it. Most of the crew were still wearing their swimwear from Castaway Cove and caught awful colds. It's a miracle no one froze to death. We probably only survived because we wrapped ourselves in our beach towels. That's random, okay. If we ever come here again, we're wearing the biggest, thickest woolen clothes we can find. Okay, so it's basically Drippy making a stupid comment about their actions or something, and then Oliver saying, Oh, this is a stone! I'm only going to read what the pirate said. Let's see, next up, Swan Island, northeast of Deep Dark Wood. I should have done an easier and did this. That would have been so much easier. But, dummy here. Northeast of deep, dark wood. I believe Swan Island is the bigger one, right? 
No! Where is it? Am I blind? Is this also considered Swan Island? Okay, that's probably why. Yeah, there it is. Fine! Okay. Discover in Swan Island. Not only does Swan Island look like a bird, it's actually covered in the things. All living happily alongside one another. They didn't like it when the captain start, started digging for treasure, though. Huge blocks of them started pecking at him all at once. They probably thought he was after their eggs. I'll never forget the captain trudging back to the ship, muttering about blasted birds and roasting them all. Okay. I quite like this captain's style, I've got to say. I bet you would, Drippy. Alright, next. Billy Goat's Bluff. Northwest from Perdita. I keep thinking I need to do it this way. I'm going to stop using Tengri until I figure out where this stuff is. My goodness. Here we go. Perdita. Pa, 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 pa. Is... Oh, wait. Right there. My brain actually remembers seeing this one at a point and wondering what it was. What's... Okay. Climbing the hills from the bay where where we landed was a long, hard slog. But at least the treasure was where it was supposed to be for once. I just can't wait to get back to sea. I start to feel sick if I spend too long on dry land. Shouldn't it be the reverse? Captain seems to be faring even worse. I caught him rocking from side to side and muttering the sea, the sea more than once now. If we don't get back to the boat soon. Fear will have to carry him. I'm a bit surprised that these pirate types would come this far in land in such a treasure mine. This is not very far in land, dude. And finally, no longer mine, southeast of Hamlin. We were just there. And actually, this time we're close enough. This time, I'm not going to go back. It's this way. In fact, Bob's your uncle. We're already there. I, I, we're close. I don't think this is it. I think this is north. Yeah, this is the spindle. It's down here. I believe it's that island. This one's just not up front visible. Do I have to land to be actually... That's well hidden. <laughs> Hi. Treasure's lo no longer mine. It's quite rare for the captain to find the treasure we're looking for as soon as we land. But that's what happened this time. His face was a real picture. I've never seen him look so proud of himself. I was happy that he'd found the treasure and all. But he didn't have to look quite so smug about it. This must be... 
It looks that way. You know? I could just imagine that old captain grinning like a Cheshire cat. Alright. That is all of them. I did it again. I literally just... Bro. Land me. Land me. I just need to go to Castaway Cove and I'll be done. Ugh, oh, there's so much to do in this game. We still have a side mission after this. And for all I know, we could still have bounties after that. Alright, kid. I got your codes. I kind of cheated, but you know what? I don't care at this point. Hey, kid! You got your damn codes. Well, did you find the pipe treasure? Sorry, we didn't find any treasure. It seems the castle we already took it all. You see, your map doesn't show the places where the castle Corsairs hid their treasure. It shows where they first found it. All those years ago. Yeah, there's a big stone monument in all the places marked on the map, see? And each one tells the story of the treasure they found there. I have been so looking forward to uncovering the pirate treasure. That's not all, though. There was some other strange writing on the monuments as well. Yeah, two Nazca letters in each one, ain't it? Really? Is it some kind of clue, I'm sure? If the letters are put together in the right order, perhaps they reveal the location of the entire treasure hoard. Crikey! That's clever. Huh? We wrote down all the names. No, we didn't. What? Please show me. Allow me to read what it says. Yeah. Heck. Can't make head nor tail of that one. Well, I guess we just have to decode it all. Let me know when you have done so. I should. Okay. I don't want to waste time, so it's, uh. 3, B, 7, 3, 5, A, 1, K, 4, L, oh my gosh, I'm glad I'm using a like a side thing instead of doing it myself, because, jeez. Uh, the six, I. Two. U. Huh? Excuse me? I'm an idiot. It's Kublai 3. Kublai Khan, the third? K Kublai? Is he known to you? Sure he is. You must have heard of Kublai, King of the Sky Pirates, right? I hope they're related. I'd be my bottom gilder on it. I bet my bottom gilder on it, Ollie boy. Oh, getting proper interested, this is. Interesting, this is. I reckon we should pay old Kublai a visit. See what he makes of it. No, I'll do that next time. I've been running this way longer than I should have. I'm gonna leave this here. We'll talk to Kublai next time. Holy freaking cow! Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. This got way more extensive than I was expecting. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for an RPG or something by Bandai Namco or Level 5 you'd like to see us do on here. Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out uh, anything that this channel has done prior to this, click the uh, the one other thing that we've checked out as far as this 
one of those two companies go. Click the bottom right corner to take it to that destination. Miss any of the stops on this right? Click the link across my head here. The other 73 so far, the rest of them later on, depending on when you see this, will be there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!